Hey guys, this is Wave618. It's uh, 13th of April 2018. It's currently 20 to 8 in the evening. Sorry, 20 to 9 in the evening BST. And uh, alright, so we're doing an update on Bitcoin. So first of all, just want to say sorry um, once again for a delayed video. Uh, I've had a very eventful week, but I'm not going to bore you with my personal life. Um, yeah, it's been a while since my last video, and I've also not even responded to comments on my previous video, so I'm, I apologize for that. Uh, I've just been really bogged down with a lot of things. So, but um, as we can see, I did say in my last video, price could come up to the 8,000 level. It has gone slightly beyond that, and so we're due some further explanation. So I will be breaking down what we've seen at present around here, what we can expect over the next few days. And um, yeah, a slight recount is needed because obviously this line was broken. So uh, I will be going into that. So first of all, this is Bitcoin, four hourly chart right here. Um, as you know, I've been forecasting a move down to $3,000. Uh, I was looking at it being a WXY pattern. Um, and then I did suggest the possibility of a WXYXZ. Um, with Y being at around 4,300, then a, an X wave, followed by a Z wave coming down to 3,000. So, um, <clears throat> however, that may need to be slightly adapted as this is coming slightly higher than expected. Um, but yeah, we'll be breaking that down in this video. So, first of all, this was my W. Uh, w was a um, an ABC pattern in itself, this being A, B, C. And the X wave, I'm still happy with the X wave, that being a three-legged pattern, um, which is a, um, it looks like a WXY pattern, so that's a WXY, and obviously it was a failure wave, um, this final wave here, as it failed to make a new high. And then we've seen what looks like a Y wave forming. Now, there is an argument that Y wave could have finished at this point here, so first of all, let's have a look at the hourly chart. Now in my last video, I did explain how this Y wave started off with what looks like a leading diagonal. So if we join the highs there, and then if we drew, draw another trend line connecting the lows, we can see price converging between these trend lines. We can see a one, two, three, four, five waves down, suggestive of a leading diagonal. And then there was a retracement in a three wave fashion, one, two, three. And then this is actually five waves down. So actually, so we can confirm that using Fibonacci extension. So if we start our Fib extension from the beginning of the wave here, to the end of what would be wave one, and extend it from where wave two would finish, you can see there's a 2.618 extension around here. So this would be where wave three finished. And then you've got what looks like a triangle, A, B, C, D, E. It's hard to say on this time frame, but certainly a wave four here followed by a wave five finishing here. So essentially what you have is a five waves down in a leading diagonal, three waves up, followed by five waves down. So in fact, you can label this A, B, C, with C finishing here, and just to further confirm that, there is a Fibonacci relationship between waves A and C. So if this is our wave A coming down to here, B retraces to here, and if we extend the Fib from here, we can see that the C wave comes down to the 0.618, which is quite typical with a um, an ABC setup. So um, this, we can argue, is the end of wave C. Now following that, we had what looks like this triangle here, converging price, um, <clears throat> and it broke out to the upside. Now this had surprised me because I was looking at this as perhaps being a, um, uh, a wave four, and then it was gonna break to the downside. Yes, but it's not to be, it's not happened. So slight recount. As I said, we may get a retest of this line. In fact, it retested the line, retested the line several times. In fact, if we go in on the 15 minute chart, we hit it here, hit it again, 
and then it broke through. Yeah, so it's broken through this resistance, and it looks like once it's through this resistance, it's likely to continue a bit higher. So I will explain how far I'm exp expecting it to go. Back on the hourly chart. Um, so if this is the end of C, what we've essentially seen here is what could be the end of Y. So let's go on the four hourly. So we could argue this is our W, this is our X, and Y is finished here. It doesn't have to come down lower than W. Yeah. All a W or XY means is you've got two corrective patterns joined by an X wave. Yeah, so this is your first corrective pattern, the A, B, C, <clears throat> X wave up to here, and then another corrective pattern, which is an A, B, C. That's A, B, C. Now, I do anticipate it coming lower. As I say, I'm still expecting price to come down to 3,000. I've explained many times why I feel like it's coming down to that level. I feel there's a lot of weak hands in the market. The OBV indicator further uh, validates that. And... Um, yeah, so so instead of a WXY, I'd be looking at a WXY XZ. So let's just put that on our chart here. So if that's W, X, Y, finishing here, X, I'm going to say where I expect it to come up to, uh, probably around this level, um, and then Z. All right, so where can we expect this price to come up to? It's broken this line. So you're probably wondering at this point, why aren't I bullish, you know, because this was a quite a significant trend line. Now, the reason is, is because we have, we have to look at the logarithmic chart. So looking at this chart, if we connect the highs here with a trend line, we can see it was actually on the log chart where we found this resistance hit here. Yeah, so this line has been validated much more than the line connecting the highs on the linear chart. Yeah, so it's been tested here, tested here, and I'm looking for it to get tested again. And as you can see, it's around the, probably around the 8,700 level. Another way of predicting where it will come to, if we do well, I'll show you when we go back on the linear chart, but what I'm saying is if we draw this trend line on the logarithmic chart, we can see that it found good resistance here. This is significant, yeah? Uh, this confirmed that the logarithmic chart is a significant chart and uh, price is rebounding off these trend lines on the log chart. So uh, we have to take that into account. Price is going to get sucked into this line now. And uh, I'm looking for it to bounce off this line and come down further. So there is a good short option when price reaches this level. Um, with a tight stop, of course, because if this line breaks, then we have to um, entertain the, the bullish argument if that happens. Yeah. So um, we will have to look into that. But uh, I, I do expect this line to hold good resistance. Um, so just going, let's just delete this so we can go back onto our linear chart now. So, so back on our linear chart. So I was talking about going up to potentially around 8,700. Now, another good way to see where this will come up to. So if this is ABC down, I'm expecting a retracement. Could be up to the 0.618. Yeah, so price, well, no, 0.618 is a little bit high. Um, maybe up to the 50% could come up to here, around the 9,000 level. Essentially, we're looking at where that line will get hit on the exponential chart. Um, in fact, if we just draw a different fib retracement, if we draw it from here, You can see price has come up to the 0.618 here, and that's why it's found a bit of resistance. So it, next target will be this 0.786.
So I'll be I'll be looking very closely around this 8,500 to 8,700 mark, looking for a price reversal at that point. Yeah, if it goes higher than that, I will be getting concerned and thinking it's looking a little bit more bullish. But having said that, there are lots of ways that Elliott Wave can play out. For example, if this is our wave W, there is still an argument that X hasn't finished. So, for example, this could all be wave W. X could just be a, uh, let's say, a running flat. So this could be wave A, B finished here, and C could come up to here before price makes another leg down. Let's just show the wave there so it's a bit more clear. So what I'm saying is this could be W, X wave could be an ABC, A, B, C, and then we could see another corrective pattern down. Yeah, that's another possibility. So even when this exponential line breaks, even if price comes up to 11,500, it could still come down lower. So we can't get too bullish, even if the that, that line on the, uh, sorry, not the exponential chart, the, uh, the logarithmic chart, if that line breaks, then um, if that line breaks, there's certainly a good long up until 11,500. At that point, you have to look at where price could reverse because it could be completing this ABC uh, regular flat pattern. All right, that's just another alternative. That's not my primary count. As I say, I'm looking for that logarithmic uh, trend line to hold. <coughs> and as I say, it's around the $8,500 to $8,700 level. All right, so but it does make sense that this uh, price hasn't been broken yet. Let's just stick the volume on because that's significant. There was huge volume that came in at $6,000. Yeah, for price to break this significant uh, uh, price level here is got to come down with a lot of force. You're not going to get just a um, a spike that breaks down, breaks uh, through $6,000 and then continues. The fact that there's some buildup behind it suggests that it's going to come through this $6,000 more convincingly. Yeah, So it's actually good to see consolidation build up before breaking through these major uh, price levels of support. So, um, yeah, it's not surprising that it's still building up before it breaks down to make its way below $6,000. Um, so, um, yeah, that's my target right now. I'll be looking for price to come up to around, potentially around 8700 or 8500 before reversing down. Um, something further to support this is I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, following gold, the dollar, I follow the S&P index, so I just want to show you my, my findings on gold. I'm going to zoom out here, we're going to go on the weekly chart. Now this is significant because gold is about to break out significantly um, and gold is linked to the dollar, gold is linked to uh, the S&P index. Um, and because it's linked to that, it's linked to Bitcoin as well, because um, the dollar is strongly linked. Well, not strongly linked, but there's a, there is a negative correlation to some degree with Bitcoin. So as you can see, gold has come up from 2000 all the way up until, what year was this, 2011. And then <clears throat> they actually retraced 50%. So... You can see here it's retraced 50%, but I don't believe that's the end. Now, I can see this is my LA wave count for gold. So I've made, in fact, let's do it using Fibonacci. So if this is wave one coming down to here, and then wave two was a ABC uh, regular flat pattern, wave three finished at the 1.618, then we've got a wave four and wave five coming down to here. So that's all five legs down, yeah? And what I make this to be is a uh, ascending triangle. So let's just take off the Elliott wave here, and you can see there's three legs up here, one, two, three, yeah? And then three legs down, one, two, three, three legs up, one, two, three, three legs down, one, two, three, 
and then finally one, two, three, three legs up. So it's actually finished its ascending triangle here with very clear, okay. So this is the, the lower trend line connecting the lows and this is the upper trend line, this um, flat line here. If you want a breakdown of triangles, check out my Elliott Wave tutorials. I've broken down uh, triangles very nicely there. But um, yeah, here's the demarcation with the wave count. So it's an A, B, C, D, E. And then following the completion of the ascending trial, I'm expecting price to break out to the downside. And it's going to come down pretty low, I expect. And as you know, it's a inversely uh, proportional um, to the dollar. So if gold is about to come down, I'm expecting the dollar to go up, I'm expecting the S&P index to go up, and I'm expecting Bitcoin to go down. <clears throat> so yeah, as I say, it looks like gold has finished this triangle at this point here. I can count the five waves of the triangle finishing here, um, and I'm expecting it to start coming down. Um, as with the S&P index, just remember gold is a safe haven. Yeah, so if if people, if gold's about to go down, that means that people are less interested in putting money in a safe haven. And so that means money's going to be poured into the, uh, the stocks. Yeah, because gold, generally people put money in gold when they have less faith in the, uh, the stock indexes. So if gold is going down, I expect um, the S&P to go up. So I'm not going to dwell too much on the S&P here, but the wave count I make for the S&P, I would label it like this, wave one here, two, so this is, an a, this is a, um, regular flat, and then wave three is not finished yet, it's going to come up to around here, wave four here, and wave five will come up to around 50,000. Um, we're slightly off the scale here, but... Um, yeah, this is what I expect with the S&P. I, I could do a video on it, just exp explaining it further, but essentially, okay, let's zoom in slightly. Let's just have a look on the daily. Well, it's a little bit more clear. Okay, so I've already created an Elliott wave here. So I made this as a wave one. Wave two is a running flat, so that's A, B, C and wave three finished here. So if we do wave one starting here, finishing here, A, B, C is our running flat. Let's extend that wave two, uh, sorry, let's extend a fib extension from the wave two up to, you can see 2.618 hit pretty bang on. That was the end of wave three. And wave three has retraced 38.2%, which is very typical for a wave four. So it's retraced 38.2. Potentially it could reach the 50% here, but yeah, it could certainly start going up from here. I'm expecting it to come up to um, around this level to finish a major wave three. Then it expects big, big recession. Um, I won't show on this video exactly where it's going to come down to, but I expect after that recession, price to go up to $50,000. Or S&P index, 50,000, 50, uh, sorry, not 50,000, but 5,000. Um, so, yeah, that's just what I expect with the S&P index, which further just shows it correlates with gold looking like it's going down s and is about to go up dollars about to go up and bitcoin that supports bitcoin going down so just going back on bitcoin yeah that's what i'm expecting that's what i'm looking out for guys again i'm going to apologize it's been almost a week since my last video so uh apologize for not having regular updates i did say in my last video we can allow price to come up to eight thousand, retest this line but now that price has broken this line, I felt like I couldn't wait much longer. I had to give an update um, because I was saying price could come up, test this line and come back down. It hasn't done that. It's broken out above this line. So I had to give a further explanation. Further explanation basically is the line on the log charts, connecting the highs. So 
So it acted as excellent resistance last time and uh, I would not be surprised if it acted as excellent resistance again. If it shoots up, could come up to this 8,900 but I expect it to come up a little bit slower. Um, it looks like it's made like a 1, 2, 3, probably going to do a wave 4 and then make a wave 5 up to around this 8,700 mark. So guys, that's what I'm looking out for. I hope that further clarifies what we can expect over the next few days. I'm still bearish Bitcoin, uh, but short term looking for price to come up to 8,700. If it breaks that line, as I say, could come up quite high up to 11,500. And then at 11,500, it's another, we, we are looking for shorts again because this could all be a regular flat pattern forming an ABC. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that helps um, and uh, I'm going to have a bit more free time now actually so we will be able to do some more updates. Alright guys, hope that helps and uh, yeah, also the altcoins, so we need to cover those as well because um, a few of those have been moving a bit more violently so they are interesting markets and they are markets that I invest in so uh, I will be running through those as well. Alright guys, until next time, take care.